After doing a little bit more research, I've decided to upgrade this time from 9 milliseconds to uh, closer to 15 milliseconds for the, the speed of light. And if we slow it down to be in, in copper, that may be all the way as far as, say, 22 milliseconds. And that's a one-way trip from Boston to San Francisco, direct route. If it goes kind of like this or like this, it's going to be even further. So we know the round trip time is going to be at, you know, at least 50 milliseconds just uh, when we're talking about the speed of light. If we include other networking components in there, this is going to be uh, much larger than 50 milliseconds. And if you look at modern internet requests, you see uh, timings that, that can get quite large. Why this matters is from the human response system. The, the way we work is that if we see something that happens uh, here less than sorry less than 20 milliseconds we think of as being causal in other words if we ha see something happen and 20 milliseconds later something else happens we think that that first thing caused the second thing or when we attempt to do something, and less than 20 milliseconds later, something responds, we see our actions as having caused that response. And then anything that is less than 100 milliseconds, we don't see cause, but we see continuity. Uh, so y when you hear me talking over these videos or when you're talking to someone over the phone or watching a, a video picture of, of someone, when the, the sound is good, you are able to have a conversation because there's not very noticeable pauses between the two. But as soon as you get pauses of greater than 100 milliseconds, you start to think of those as independent events, not connected events. So it's hard to have conversations. It is, is hard to say that the actions I'm doing in this application are connected with each other. It is hard to say that um, what I am doing is making a difference, is connecting my first action with my second action, with my third action. They all seem independent. And so we tend to lose interest, give up, get frustrated, and so forth. So what that means is when, when we have these long paths right here, it is very, very difficult to have interactive applications because we're almost guaranteeing that the timing for those is just too large. Um, it, it's just impossible to have that. But if we shorten those responses down to these time scales, we are able to have interactivities take place. It seems like when I press a button and the server responds with its data, that it's causal in nature. I caused that data to happen. I caused that data to be updated. The screen is doing what I wanted it to do. And even if it takes a little bit of processing time, it, it still seems connected to what I did. It, it seems smooth to go from this to this to this. Even if it's not causal, I don't get distracted and I, I do those things. And, and so it's really important that we have these servers in targeted geographical locations connected not only to the geography, and this is very important, not just to geography, and I'm putting these in just generic places, they're probably not good places geographically, but also to the right networks. It may be really important not only to have these pink ones, let me get something that's, that's really different here. 
but you you may need to have another server right here that's close to this pink one because this pink one is Verizon and this gray one is AT&T and the, and so you may want to have these different co-located almost co-located sites because you got AT&T and Verizon and Sprint if you're just talking about cell phone coverage and you you include Comcast and all these other providers it's really important to have these distributed geographically as well as connected to these servers so that you can get these these short timing loops between the web browser and the web server that they ultimately connect to so the content distribution network is going to provide that for you by having all these already available to have these short response times provided your server can respond back in a, in a quick time.